Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna do a weekly tips and tricks video on dipping an intake manifold. So uh, in this case, we actually have a BMW intake manifold that we're gonna be dipping in, of course, our favorite carbon fiber. Um, so uh, what we've kind of done here is on the intake manifold is that we've got our position that we want the carbon to go. So of course we know which way that we need to orientate it on the carbon itself. And then also another thing is, is that we've plugged every one of the holes as we were uh, blasting it, painting it, getting it prepped out, getting it ready to go. Just to make sure, especially because we've got fuel and uh, all of the uh, injectors and everything like that that screws into here, we wanna make sure that those stay nice and crisp and that nothing gets in there because of course you don't want any dust or sanding or anything like that inside anywhere uh, where there's gonna be fuel or anything like that. So, of course, uh, we have went ahead and we've cut out back here just so that we can hold it a lot better. And then also we have, in this case, we've cut out one of these ports right here just so that I can have a good way to hold this as it's going in the water and it's very comfortable to hold as you're going down. So, um, we've already got everything set up. We've got our piece laid out here. Now again, on something like this, I always like to make sure that I have plenty of room for extra just to make sure that I don't have any mistakes or if there is a little mistake over in here, I can always move it over to another side, another corner, something like that, and I still have enough room to dip the part. So in this case, because this intake manifold sits just like this right here, on the car, we're mainly focusing this area right in here. So of course, the back side, we're gonna come back in. We'll probably um, get it back, uh, black it out if you want. Uh, some people leave it. Uh, in my opinion, it looks a little bit more professional to take and spray it with one solid color just to make sure that whenever the customer picks it up, he's looking at it all the way around. Everything looks really good. Uh, it looks professional and it's going to have a really good quality um, coating on the part. And so um, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're just going to dip this top half of it. We're gonna come back in, get the underside, and then get everything smoothed out on it, and then show you guys some finished pictures of it. But let's go ahead, get this in the water, and get started. So um, I have, as you can tell right here, taped up the two edges of my film mainly because it's really humid out here and so uh, the film is wanting to roll up quite a bit you can see it on this right here uh, again it's not a big deal but um, the tape does help in letting us know that um, uh, well the tape does help in curling it back up and so that way you can see it only curls up pretty much now just on these edges here which is not a big deal at all so we'll go ahead we'll pull this tape off of it right here and then of course we'll know that whenever we dip this we're going to dip it just like this so I am going to set the part just right there just to make sure that whenever we lay this down in the water we know exactly which way it needs to go so move our dividers out here just to make sure that we have plenty of room and we will get started so apparently it's not wanting to work corner to corner because of the humidity, so we're gonna do a little bit different approach on it. Instead of picking it up like normal, we're just going to run it over the edge of the actual side of the tank. And so to do that, we're going to take and dry this off really good, and then pretty much we're just gonna take and pull it over, and then just keep pulling it all the way up into the actual water itself. So we'll take this right here, we will drop this down in the water like that, let it go across, and then now we just pull it up, and there we go. So again, we're gonna start our timer, and we'll pull everything back together, so that way we keep it nice and tight for the dividers and for the carbon itself. So another prime example on why I always cut extra, I've got a bunch of water that just cut off right in here, it's not a big deal because I am going to have plenty of extra on all the way around. So by having it cut off right here, it's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get some gloves on and get started. So because this is a little bit larger piece, I am gonna start spraying it a little bit sooner, but uh, only about 15 seconds on this one.
All right, so the film looks glassed out, looks really good. So now that we've got a good hold on this, we can take this and just slowly start going down into the water with it. So again, we knew that we wasn't going to get any uh, hit on this back side, like this right here, which is fine. Like I said, we'll come back, we'll blend all this back in, make everything look good. But this is the portion that we wanted to make sure that looks the best. And flipping it over here, getting all the rest of that water out. Everything looks really good. Again, with the way that the carbon works, it's going to wrap around these areas like this. There's no way around that but we've got a very smooth, clean carbon look going all the way across here. Customer is definitely going to love it. Um, like I said, we'll come back, we'll do a little bit of touch up on the bottom, uh, get this thing clear coated, and then we'll be good to go. So I think that was definitely a good hit, and um, we'll get this all finished up and show you guys the end results, so stay tuned. So we've got everything already candied. Uh, we got it clear coated. Everything came out phenomenal. The customer's definitely going to love it. So again, what we did was is we went ahead, we dipped it just like what you saw in the video there, and then we came back in and we actually airbrushed in a lot of the silver metallic, like what it used to look like before we dipped it. And so what we did was is we airbrushed it in on these areas right in here right in the bottom side of that just to make it blend a lot better and it makes it look like it fades in so that way it's got a nice faded line or not line but it's got a nice fade from the carbon into the candy red that you see right now so before of course we had a hard line in some of these areas like right in here now it's got a nice smooth transition which makes it look a lot better it look, makes it look like it was actually made to look like that because it does have a nice smooth fade instead of just a hard line where it stops from the carbon to just the paint itself so um again you probably saw we had all of these holes taped up in here that's one thing that's definitely critical whenever you're doing stuff like this especially for an engine um, you always want to make sure that everything is taped up and plugged 100 percent so you saw we had all of our silicone plugs in all of these areas right here so that way whenever they go back they go to screw everything in they can literally put the bolt in it screw it in everything's going to be perfectly fine with it um, and then of course you can see we've got everything that's been taped off down here as well as on the uh, the intake part of it and so everything will go back together and it'll be a really nice job uh, customer won't have to sand off anything or do anything all the gaskets will mate right back up to the existing part and everything will be good to go so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. And um, let us know what you think. If you like the red candy carbon, or if you'd like to see another color carbon, or um, anything in particular, uh, definitely let us know. We'd love to try to help you out with it. So I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and we're making hydrographics great again. We'll see you guys next time.